Hi guys, it's Punchy. Today I'm going to be talking about a pretty strong build and a fun one too. This build revolves around the Legion Fist Kata with the Frost Draw Attunement. I found a lot of fun with many of the combos and annoying things you can do with ice that can mess with your enemies. Before we start, I would like to thank all you guys for the support during my recent videos. My channel will not have been able to get this far without fans like you. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we may be able to hit 8,000 subscribers soon. It's a pretty big number. Alright, so starting off this build, I do want to specify that I would consider it high level or end game. This build does have a bell as well as gems on each spell, which could be difficult to obtain at a lower level but it's obviously not necessary to make this build good. When making a build, you gotta focus on all the basics before you get any of the endgame nonsense like enchants. If you'd like to follow my build, feel free to do so, but if you have any suggestions on how to improve or remake this build, leave them in the comment section below. Here are my stats before we do anything, and now I realize that this is quite balanced in comparison to my previous min-max shadow build. As a power 55, I had 1 strength, 75 fortitude, 1 agility, 68 intelligence, 2 willpower, nothing in charisma, and 75 in both my light weapons and frost draw. If you're wondering why I'm going to 75 and not passing that, is because some of these things they actually give you bonuses for unbreaking them, so 75 gives you free stat points. Definitely liking this more than pouring all my points into one section. My build started off with the Ganymede, which was for no real reason, except I did want to see the amazing drip that I've been hearing about. One of my favorite colors is yellow, so gotta pick that yellow variant. Races don't have that much impact in this game, so for specific builds, feel free to spice it up, it's personal preference on what you want to be. Since we're aiming for fist combat, we're going to be starting off with the stiletto, so getting XP for that is going to be basic, we're going to head over to Bandit Island. While you're at it, might as well level up your frost too, because we are going to be going to 75. It's very, very easy to level up your elements in this game. We can mess around here for a little bit, but don't stay too long because our goal is fist combat. We got to try to get fists as soon as we can, because if you stick with a dagger, you're going to be getting talents for daggers, which are kind of useless. For this build, forget about the other sorry styles, Fist of Neve or Just Karita, because we are going to be aiming for Legion combat. Although the developers constantly nerf Legion fists whenever they have free time, this build is super solid and more importantly, fun to play as. So to unlock Cornball Legion, in combat we're going to be going over to hive so make sure you're high level a little bit high level around 30 40 maybe with a couple friends so for the entire time at hive we're going to be protecting the monkeys so don't attack any of the colon soldiers make sure we're fighting the ardrets that they are going to be fighting against killing ardred ice mages will do you well and if you continue to do this eventually the colon fighters will thank you after the fight you'll know you're doing this correctly if you see the white eye at the top of your screen indicating a shift in faction reputation once your rep is high enough a con npc will give you a recommendation after you interact with them as soon as the event finishes from then on you can go to viper's jaw and Aresia and talk to the con officers where you can get your legion kata. Now with your new fists, enjoy slamming down anything in the game. But we aren't just fists, remember that. This build is dedicated towards a mage playstyle too, which I believe is a little bit, well, looked down upon, but it's still fun nevertheless. And just as a reminder, to level up your frost draw, just spam it on some enemies or monsters at low level to get level 75 in no time. While we're on the topic of frost draw, I might as well mention my mantras now. The essential mantra for this build I get a lot of use out of is Ice Spike. You may be wondering why Ice Spike is on this list, but don't worry, I'll explain. Frost Straw has a couple of cool talents that allow you to modify the behavior of your mantras, and there's one for Ice Spike. The talent Spike Traps allows me to place down several traps on the ground which are hard to see that can trigger an Ice Spike to pop up and hurt the enemy. This is why I named the mantra Toshiro from ABA, because that's pretty much what it is. The gem I chose to put on this move is a blue gem to cut the ether cost in half, because Wind Gem or Blow This Gem does not proc after the first trap goes off. Easily one of your bread and butter moves on this build, just throw them on the ground, and now you control the battlefield. I believe I put some Cloud Stones and Strata Stones on these moves, but don't go too crazy with it because it will cost a lot. Next ice move is Ice Eruption, which is just an ice stomp forward which has a ton of range and can apply the cold effect. Super good for obscuring your traps on the ground and stopping people who won't approach. Again, I put a blue gem on this because it's what you want to spam. Couple clown stones and strata stones on this too, just to make it reach that much further. Next move, which I think is kind of mid, is Ice Smash. So Ice Smash normally just flings you forward and is easy to see coming, but the modifier on this one makes it very, very nice. Glacial Finish is the name of this talent and it allows me to choose to do another second attack with the Ice Smash at no additional cost. Good for mix-ups and nice to jump between doing the second hit and only doing one hit to confuse the enemy's timing. Insignia jam on this thing just to reduce the windup, and I also named this thing Kaido Stick because it looks like a Kanabo. Final ice move that I use is Ice Forge. It spawns down shurikens that auto track and produce cold on the enemy. I do have some talents that complement this, like more projectiles if used on ice and freezing enemies in place if you hit them on the ice. Overall, nice move to spam sometimes and good on range. I put a wind gem on this because I use it in the depths to lure enemies. And the last move that I'm using at the moment is Rapid Slashes. This move comes off the light weapon mastery and is a quick teleport that can lead or finish off combos. Rapid slashes into a suplex is one of those super satisfying things to do when it just works. Insignia jam on this to reduce the windup, and I do have Ice Beam, but I have seen enough videos to know that it's not the move I want to use. I could be using this if I got Oathless, but at the moment I'm waiting for the new Oaths to drop. Ironically, if you want to remake this build, the moves you want to get would probably be Ice Daggers, Ice Lance, Ice Blade, Ice Skates, and Ice Grab for combo extension, but unfortunately I got all the other moves that weren't these. Now that all my mantras have been explained, I'll show you what I'm rocking in the talent department and what synergizes well with this build. The first thing I found out to be extremely toxic and annoying is using Warrior's Respite while standing in your ice traps. 
The reason for this is because you'll begin to heal when standing still with the protection of your critical attack as well as your traps. The suplex is something you can spam while healing and it's not like any other critical attacks. People either move out of the way or parry, so if they can't do that, it's hard for them to approach. So this is what I mean about questionable play. It's kind of not for everybody. It's for, um, you know, toxic people who want to sit still and just troll. The next talent you want to get in any fist build has got to be the Fist of Fortitude. As I was making this build, this was common, so pretty much everybody had this at base kit, but now it's rare and I can see why. This talent gives you damage reduction if you hit a couple times, and it's very solid for defensive play. In my opinion, the talents that don't make you do something super specific are very, very strong. Some more defensive tools I had were when I was getting block broken. Obviously, I wasn't trying to get block broken, but when I did, I had some talents to back me up. Once I was stunned, it would make the next attack do no damage as well as apply the cold effect to any enemy who broke my posture. I mean, putting a debuff on the enemy for them playing correctly seems good enough for me. Other than all the defensive talents, I also had some that were centered around offensive pressure. Having the option of an aerial attack is strong for fists because getting in close and having many options is what you want to do. Not only does this have a good hitbox, but it's also very fast, unlike the aerial attack for guns, which had a terrible hitbox. Other things that can complement any build using ice could be a slowdown on holding S. This works especially well when people begin to slow down, they panic, and most of the time they block. When you see someone block, you already know what time it is, it's time to hit him with a suplex. Of course, those are all the things that synergize, but if you want to slow down the video, you can see every single talent I have. I guess the only thing left to talk about is my bell. So currently I have the bell, your bell, which is the one with the portals that allow me to move very, very fast for a short time. During this time, I'm fully invisible and invincible, not to fall damage, so nobody can see me when I'm moving. This isn't the best if you're 1v1ing because people are going to know where you are, your general direction, but it's very, very good if you win the 1v1, some people pull up and you can just dip. The more creative you are with this bell, the better it gets. And that's all. The rest of this video will be some clips and fights that demonstrate how this build works.
That's pretty much all of this build, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed.